Welcome to Olympian Cares, giving you the best in water testing and analysis. Today we're looking at New York City Department of Education on water safety. And if you're living in New York City, you need to know this information to keep yourself safe, your family safe, and people around you. So New York City water is safe and families of students attending Department of Education, DOE schools, and the staff of those schools should rest assured that water is the highest quality. Now, why is that? The statistics that they have are New York City's water meets or exceeds all federal and state standards. The city's water is tested over 600,000 times a year. And the DOE works with city agencies to make sure students have safe drinking water in schools. Now, we've taken a look at different instances, and it is overall safe, but there can still be issues, lead, other contaminants. Now, New York City water is virtually lead-free when it comes delivered from the city's upstate reservoir system. That doesn't mean all of them are, because the water can absorb lead from fixtures, faucets, and fittings. And this is most likely to happen when the water has not been run for several hours. And you can minimize the potential for lead exposure by running your tap for 30 seconds or until the water gets noticeably colder before using the water for drinking or cooking. And the safety and well-being of students and the staff is the highest priority. That's why state law requires them to test water for, or lead every five years. Now, as we know, five years, a lot can happen. Things can change. Pipes can corrode and different contaminants can be introduced into the water. That's why it's always a good idea to periodically have your water tested and analyzed about every year. In 2016 to 2017 school year, the water in New York City public schools was tested for lead, and the findings were as follows. The vast majority of tests were not elevated. 92% of our fixture system wide tested below guidance. If a drinking or cooking outlet tested above guidance, the outlet was immediately turned off and the equipment was replaced. The affected outlets are kept out of service until follow-up testing shows those outlets are no longer have elevations and every elevated fixture from this round of testing has been remediated. So, in conclusion, schools have been or will be retested from the fall of 2018 to the end of 2020. And then the standard response protocol, if a building has even one water outlet that tests above the action level, which means it contains more than 15 parts per billion of lead, the Department of Education implements its standard response protocol, and that protocol involves removing any drinking or food prep out from the service, flushing all parts of the water system to eliminate water sitting in pipes overnight, replacing drinking water and food prep equipment, retesting new equipment once it's installed, restoring service to drinking or food prep fixtures only after test results come back and show the water is below 15 parts per billion. As you know, there is no safe amount of lead in drinking water. And you can see the various years this has happened and the information from the Department of Education on water safety. That being said, though, just flushing out water sometimes and just changing fixtures doesn't always solve the problem, especially if there's corrosion in pipes or other issues, especially for New York City's water. While it does have a lot of good things and it does exceed federal and state standards, it's still a good idea to periodically test your water and have it analyzed to make sure your students are safe.